For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're going to focus on a basketball player who's become a viral sensation. Hansel Emanuel just wants to be treated like everybody else. But truth is, there's really nobody like him. He lost his left arm in an accident when he was six years old. But that hasn't stopped him from pursuing his love of basketball. And the things he can do on the court really turn up the excitement. It's amazing, man. It's electrifying. The gym could be dead for two seconds, and he just does one or two plays, and the whole gym just erupts. We kind of like everybody else, surprised, excited, you know. He's special. He's almost like a beetle now, like the kind of like the phenomenon that's around him. It's great because it's it's positive energy, and that's 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 what's best about it. Hansel's from the Dominican Republic, where he inherited his passion for basketball from his father. His father was actually a professional basketball player in Dominican Republic, um, so that's what inspired him to play the game. And just like anybody else, you know, he's he's found ways to be good with what he has. And honestly, as you can see, it's it's garnering a lot of attention. Hansel came to the United States earlier this year. He rarely does interviews, partly because he's still working on his English, but also because he gets a lot of the same questions about his arm. He doesn't want nobody to feel sorry for him. He does, that, that's why he don't really do a lot of interviews, because they, you know, they kind of ask him the same question. And then that's still, you know, still a scar on him. He doesn't really like talking about it, you know? Because, you know, him back of his head is what if. Well, everybody is what if, what if, what if, what if, you know? So that's why he don't really do interviews like that. That's why he doesn't like it, because he keeps getting the same questions over and over and over. He's, not, he's still not recovered over that. While Hansel may not say much, his game speaks volumes. His ability to handle the ball, pass, and shoot with one limb has captured the attention of fans from all over the country and even around the world. It speaks to how hard he's worked over the last 10 years in order to be able to compete against some of the best athletes his age. Hard work, that's what hard work and dedication looks like. If you Google that, and, uh, you'll see him. Oh, every day, he trains every day, practices every day from a very early age. I mean, you, you can imagine that what's happened to him at, uh, could have been taken as a setback to anybody, but for him, it was a sense of motivation and it's something that he's living through now. Now that fans are being allowed to watch games in person again, they are crowding around any court he plays on, hoping to see something amazing, and they usually do. He's a young kid. You know, I think that's what everybody tends to kind of forget in this whole thing is that he's still only 16 himself. Um, so he's, he's enjoying it, and I think more than anything right now, he's embracing being that inspiration for everybody. Um, I mean, the kid is obviously, was an inspiration to us, and obviously an inspiration to millions of people now. Um, good kid, a humble kid, very humble kid. Um, that honestly just wants to be treated like any other kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hansel is a 2022 prospect and he attends Life Christian Academy in Kissimmee, Florida. While all the likes and views on social media are great, his main goal right now is trying to get the chance to play college basketball. His coaches, they're certain that opportunity will come. His goal is to, to go Division One, you know, and then play professional, which I think he's gonna do, even if it's not you know, in Europe or stuff like that. I mean, he's for sure gonna play in his country. Like, you can count that, count on that. But I mean, after basketball, he's gonna inspire a lot of people. I mean, he's inspiring a lot of people right now. And he could, he could be a motivator for, to, to everyone. Yeah, I mean, well, his dream is the NBA. Um, and the truth, truth of the matter is, obviously the immediate thing is, well, I don't know if that's possible, but who are we to tell him no? Because the reality is he's came this far with, with what he has. Um, the next step for him right now is, is to go to play Division One basketball. For us as program directors, coaches, um, it's our responsibility to help him, his family, um, and everybody kind of help that dream come true. As for any college coaches who are considering recruiting Hansel, his AAU coaches have some advice. Watch film, have a conversation with him and his family, because most, most importantly, the kid is a good kid. Pull the trigger, because it, you know how it is in basketball. I mean, I, I know how it is. Once one offers, everybody else is going to come, but the problem is getting that first one. You know, but I'm pretty sure he'll get one. Talent isn't a question. Obviously, everybody can see that the kid is talented. But after having a conversation with him, I think it's, it's, it's pretty apparent and pretty clear that his goals and his aspirations and the things, the path that he's on, the, tra the trajectory that he's on, will, will land him there eventually. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.